Hi folks, Jason Webster here. Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Hey, it's a Saturday evening. We're finishing up harvesting here at the PTI farm and we're in the middle of one of our soybean variety trials here. This is our multi-variety soybean research trial. And this is where we've kind of taken some of the learnings from multi-genetic corn planting years ago. And, you know, often growers and seed dealers will say placement is key. You got to place the right genetics on the right acre, even though you have spatial variability. Well, we all would agree that's probably a true statement, but we've done it more so with corn than we have with soybeans. So this particular trial that we're in, we're trying to do just that, understand soil variability, and then understand where do we plant the right soybean genetics on the acre? So one of the things we're trying to understand is yield personality. We've got some soybean varieties that wanna offer us branching. And we have the main stem and then we've got the ability for branches with the architecture. And this is gonna give us the opportunity for more nodes and more soybeans. Then we also have some soybean varieties that don't have branching opportunities, let's say, and they're just more of the main stem node. And so if we know this yield personality of these soybean varieties, this will help us place these beans on the right acre at the right seeding rate. So you can see our combine behind us. We've, we've got two different varieties. We're partnering with BASF and some of their Zatavo soybean um, varieties. We're putting them side by side, understanding the variability the soil variability in the farm, and then saying, all right, let's look at the, the variety and then let, let's look at the seeding rate. The general idea is gonna be, we're gonna be the opposite of corn. So with soybeans on, up on the high ground, the drought soils, if you will, that's where we're gonna go to more of this soybean variety with no branching, the single main stem branch where we're gonna plant at higher populations. We get into the low ground, that's where we're gonna go to the variety that gives us the branching and we're gonna go lower seeding rates with that. So that's kind of what we're thinking. We're putting this side by side, putting it to the test. One of the goals I have with this study is, could we actually get a 10 bushel to the acre yield increase from doing these agronomics with multi-variety soybean? 10 bushel to the acre times $10 a bushel, that'd be a $100 swing in soybeans one of the things we really want to evaluate. We've got partners that we're working with. We've got growers from across the country. We've got growers in Wisconsin. We've got growers in Illinois, Iowa. They're doing the same thing, putting these Zatavo brand soybeans side by side, adjusting the seeding rates, and we're going to take this to yield, and we're going to take this to economics. We'll bring you the numbers when we get them. Stay tuned for later this fall and early winter. We'll bring you data on multi-variety soybean planting.